Hi Glendale, I'm Meg Keller. And I'm Harper Brady. And you're watching the 11th episode of the Glendale 411. <laughs> Salt is very damaging on cars. Connor Skinner and I show you how to take care of your car in the winter. During the winter time, salt is laid down on the roads to prevent ice. However, the effect it has on cars could be a problem. Salt's bad on a car in the winter time or really any time uh, for the, uh, the structural rails of the car can get corroded and that's not good because that's what's holding your car together. Uh, brake lines and fuel lines or fittings can corrode and fail and you don't have brakes, you don't have fuel pressure, that could be bad. Uh, on the inside of the engine bay, same thing, it's just all to do with corrosion and things breaking away, and nobody wants that. As far as paint, you can start, it can, again, corrode the, the metal under the paint, and uh, if you have any rock chips or anything, it can get in that way, and uh, it can start bubbling out the paint, and then it starts flaking off, chipping off, and from there it's, you know, you're respraying stuff, and that's no fun. Some ways to keep, Salt off the car in the winter is whenever snow dries up and you don't know, get a nice day, because here in Missouri we have those sometimes. Uh, take the car to the car wash. I don't recommend doing car washes, but they have the undercarriage spray. That's always good to try to get as much salt off the undercarriage as possible. If you like to hand wash it, you know, stick your arm up underneath the wheel wells, spray them out real good, scrub them. Same thing with the underneath of your car. Just make sure it's as clean as you can get it for the next time it snows, you know, repeat the process. If it's winter time, there's salt on the roads at any point, especially where we live and up north and whatever. There's, there's salt on the roads all the time just in case. And uh, any chance you get after a snow or, you know, just when your car starts looking dirty, wash it. Two Glendale brothers take to the stage. Mattia and Jimmy and I have the story. Our band's called Fishing for Saturday. We're called Fishing for Saturday. I've been involved in music my whole life. My, my dad's played guitar and we've grown up with music, but I have been playing since uh, the third grade, really. I've been in music about seven years, seven and a half years. We take lessons from Pellegrino's School of Art and Music on Republic. Uh, they hold monthly band auditions and it's just a bunch of students will get up on stage and they're given a few songs to choose from to uh, perform and then the instructors will decide who they think they'd fit with and so we all auditioned and were kind of just thrown together. Uh, my brother's in the band with me and two or three other people from other schools. I play the guitar and the bass. Okay. I can play guitar, bass, drums. We play mostly classic rock but a mix of some other newer stuff. Being in the band's changed me because I've gotten more outgoing, I think, and I've gotten more musically involved. Uh, there's too many favorite parts to think of, but um, uh, getting up on stage in front of people, and I started off, I was fairly, uh, fairly shy and stage fright, mm -hmm. but it comes down to like, want, when you're up on stage and know that everybody's out there watching you, mm -hmm that it just, it gives you this rush that, I mean, yeah. it's better than anything else. Hundreds of Springfield students will soon have mental health support. Tanner Brady and Mackenzie Mundy have the story. SPS has partnered with Burl to pilot mental health on-site counseling programs in nine of its schools. The partnership with Burl began actually several years ago. We have had a limited partnership with them for several years. The district has contracted with them to provide uh, services in our, in our schools. Um, it's a limited number. We have one clinician for every one of our feeder patterns. So from that partnership, we began to realize that the need is much greater than what we're able to provide there. So, so we began to explore other opportunities. What evolved over the next year was that we not only want to provide clinical services where a therapist is coming in, a clinician is coming in, 
um, and providing therapy, but we want to be able to provide extra support as well. And so we looked into what our um, community support staff were doing. And so a, a CSS is a community support specialist, and we're taking what they're doing in the community and that extra layer of support that we're, they're adding, and we're just bringing it into the school system. At the high school level, it will be primarily um, individual counseling, individual group counseling. Um, at the, the elementary level, we're also going to be able to have what are called treatment specialists, and they've identified a group of students at the buildings who could benefit from having someone there um, to support the classroom teachers. One of the advantages of starting the program that we're starting in Hillcrest is we will be able to provide um, more clinical services to other feeder patterns. So because the program will provide more services in the Hillcrest feeder pattern, we're able to kind of reallocate uh, the services that we were providing there. Um, and give other Peter patterns um, more time with clinicians as well. You know, we know that when students are experiencing mental health issues, whether that be, you know, a diagnosis of attention deficit disorder or some of the ones that we typically hear uh, that really get in the way of their learning and being successful in school, then if we have, have those services available on site, they're going to ultimately um, be attending more, they're going to be able to achieve better and learn better in their classes and then all, that will transfer over then having more students graduate successfully from our from our high schools. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check us out on social media at the Glendale 411. Signing off, I'm Harper Brady and I'm Meg Keller.